Hey Stunning Fam, this is Sarah back with another DIY video. Today you're going to be watching Brandon create a gate that you can enter in from our front yard and an extension from our backyard. So we're not going to be taking down the existing gate from the backyard. All we are going to be doing is creating an extension to add extra storage space. We are going to be putting things like PVC pipes, our yard trimmings bin and a wheelbarrow back here because those are things that will not get destroyed in the rain as we are not planning on putting a cover over this area the first thing that brandon did was hammer these fence post anchor ground spikes into the ground he did not pre-dig the holes because he wanted to make sure that they were very very firm in the ground the next thing that brandon did was measure the height of the ground spikes in order to cut pressure treated 4x4s that would be placed in them. I also would like to add that the height of these 4x4s really depend on how tall you want your fence. Brandon did buy an opening gate frame kit from Home Depot. I will go ahead and put the link to this product in the description below so you can check it out. Um, first, to install this kit, he installed the hinges on the left side of the gate um, because this is the side that will be opening and closing the gate. After installing the hinges, he hung the hinge side of the frame in, in the hinge bolts, again on the left side. And then he also cut 2x4s to place in that frame. After that, he inserted the adjustable cable in the center um, this is really neat because you can adjust it if it needs to be tightened over time the rest of the process is pretty straightforward he screwed on stained fence boards onto the gate and then at the very very end he installed a gate latch to make sure that it's able to open and close properly and um, so that we can eventually put a lock on it as well I hope that you all enjoyed this DIY video and I hope that you have a great week. Take care.